Hey guys, so I, I don't even know where to start in this vlog. I lost my vlog camera. Somehow it disappeared with the charger, like the thing to plug in the charger. So I don't know if someone stole it or if I just lost it, but I don't know how I would lose it with the actual charger also, you know, like that you plug into the wall to charge the battery. So that happened. And then we were supposed to leave this Saturday to travel across country in the motorhome to our family reunion, but we're no longer doing that. And I'll explain a little bit more about that later, but I gotta get going because I need to pick up Travis. Oh, someone just woke up. Someone's so happy. You see her? She like literally smiles at the monitor. It's like the cutest thing. Oh, sweet girl. I'm gonna have to go pick her up, but she'll smile. Do you see her smiling at the camera? Oh my God, she's so cute. She can't hear me. Now that she's awake, I'm gonna go grab her, put her in the car, and we're gonna go pick up Travis and we need to run some errands today. Oh, she's starting to cry. I gotta go get her. Okay, so it's got snow. She spit up all over me. As soon as I picked her up, huh? Did you spit up all over me? Yeah, you did. You wanna say hi? <laughs> you want to say hi to the Rose fam and tell them how much you love them? You love them so much, huh? Yeah. <laughs> my heart. So I got my coffee and I think I got everything. By the way, my house is a, a disaster and it's been like raining nonstop here. But there's a lot of good things going on. What is up with my hair? Like, what is this? What is this? I look like one of the hadistic Jews. Like that have those things, the guys that have the things that come down. <laughs> I'm Jewish, so don't get all crazy on me. Uh, and yes, I'm a Jew that celebrates Christmas because I don't practice, like was raised with Hanukkah and Christmas, you know what I mean? But now I just do Christmas. Um, but I do Hanukkah with like my sister and not like my family, just not at my house. Anyway, not like I needed to go into that much detail, but you know, the comments can get a little cray cray sometimes. So just feel like I need to defend myself sometimes. Yeah, just like a lot of like stuff that has happened, but we're gonna try to just be positive because when a bunch of negative things happen, we make the best of them, well, at least we try to. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yesterday, I started having like really bad endometriosis pain and um, my body just like was in so much pain and I just felt so weak and tired and I feel like that a little bit today but not as much so i've just been like feeling really slow and like i said my house is like a legit mess like look at this <laughs> it's just really messy oh i need to turn the fire off before i go thought i'd take you on my day with me real life spit up and everything you guys want to say hi to bandit he's just living his best life over here by the fire huh he loves it this is like his spot is this your spot b no <laughs> Hi, I see you. I gotta turn this off though, okay? I'm just gonna turn the fire off. And it's not safe to leave it on when we're gone, okay? Thank you. I'm in the back seat with Snow Bear. We're at the post office right now. We're getting checking our mail and we're running some errands. I'm trying to get a bunch of stuff done, although there's been a huge, huge stress relief off of our backs now. Oh, look at she's just napping out. Rush hour traffic in Folsom. We're out running errands right now. Okay, so we are back in the car again. I think the last time you guys saw me, we were already in the car, but we got out of the car and now we're back in the car. <laughs> Uh, so what do we do? We went to a couple places. We didn't really find anything so we didn't vlog any stuff But we're shopping for the RV right now and it's a lot better um, Like I said because now we have actually time and the more time now that we have available We realize that there's a lot more things that we wanted to do on the RV. Can I mean, you tell we, them why we're not 
going on the trip. I, I vlogged this morning and let them know that we're not doing oh. an RV trip and that instead of taking the RV that we're flying, but I didn't tell them why we're doing that. Gotcha. Did you guys hear all that? Shannon's in the background. She's driving. I'm scared. I'm in the back. I've got two seatbelts on just for extra protection. <laughs> I'm scared. Anyways, yeah, so if, if you guys have been following us, you guys know that we bought an RV, but we didn't buy an RV really that long ago until we actually got it in our hands. We bought it and then we didn't get it until like a week and a half later. And then we took it down to LA, but we've been trying to do so much. And so being gone for a month and a half, four to six weeks is a, a big procedure in itself getting things ready for bills and the house and who's watching the house who's going to be there the mail and all this stuff but then on top of that you're trying to think of what you're going to need for the next four or six months between ordering stuff like vitamins and and baby stuff it's just a lot it's not like there's no stores as you're like drive you know in you know in the united states but still you want to be prepared for things because we're not going to be able to order like amazon and have it ship some works we're on the move Anyway, so in addition to that, the, the remodeling and stuff too. So now that we're kind of taking a, a deep breath, we're doing the RV as we want it and not having to like rush through so it. So why now. are we not driving the RV? Currently practicing feeding on demand. Vegan style, car style. Any comments? Talking to me? You. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know you were filming. I was like, you're just. I was like, just talking to myself <laughs> back here. <laughs> talking to yourself. <laughs> Are you talking to yourself? <laughs> Nobody talks to themselves. He's drooling all over the place. <laughs> you're the cutest to the Buddhist, baby girl. Okay, I got you. Alright you guys, we are walking into Walmart. And shop for the RV. Alright you guys, we're picking out curtain rods for the RV. We found some really cheap ones, so we got that one so far. You love your mama? That we're, we're looking for a rug, like a bath rug for the RV motorhome like on the inside, but it's so small that it's like hard to find a good one that is like the right size. And I really wanted one of these because they're so comfortable, the foam ones. Yeah. All you need to do is grab the tape. Wait, doesn't it have a... It doesn't have a cup holder, right? Well, that's not right. That's definitely not right. Wow. <laughs> We're just testing out the chairs in Walmart. When all else fails, read the directions. Wait, the cup holder's right here. Where? What the oh, heck? You're right. Oh my gosh. You could even put a plant in here. That's too small to hold a 12 pack of beer. 
Okay, so is that a no-go on this one? I, I don't know. I feel like I'm not totally loving it, but... Don't tell me part where I don't have to put it back together. <laughs> Do you want to hear a bad joke? A, a joke that everyone's going to get all upset in the comment section? So here's my joke. How many women does it take to fold up a foldable chair? Oh my gosh, I hate Travis. He's so mean. He's so... Everyone needs a villain. <laughs> I did it. It took a little bit. I like the color of this. Does it make you happy and yes, bring you joy? I don't mean it brings you your mother. I mean mental joy. Well, I'll tell you what, it's definitely harder to like do than the other ones that we have? Yeah, I feel like we used to have some other ones that were really fast and easy. Ooh, that rainbow chair. Be high, baby. That's pretty big. Right. Oh, wait, like... right this time. Yeah, but it doesn't have armrests on it. Gotta have the armrests, right? Like the old school ones that like, my dad has when we went camping. Those are so comfortable. Okay, okay we're good. Are you Tell it's showing everybody how you roll over from your tummy to your back. <sighs> She's in our little playpen. By the way, a lot of you guys wanted an update on her hemangioma. It is getting bigger, but it's okay because it's going to end up probably going away on its own. But yeah, we're not treating it anymore. And we're calling it her unicorn crown. So she's in her little pack and play playing. And I'm up here and I put all this stuff. What? No, I was just saying to say that's a cute little machine you got there. Oh my gosh. I think it'll wash a pair of my socks. Shut up. You guys, how cute is this? So it's not, <laughs> it's not fake. It looks like a little kid's like washer and dryer, but this is actually for the motor home. And I told Travis, like we can totally let Snow do her own laundry when she gets a little bit older to like learn how to do it um, in this. Cause I think it's, <laughs> It's so cute, but this is for the RV. So we have a washer and people were wondering how we we're gonna wash our clothes. You can stop at laundry mats, but we just decided it would be nice to have something like this, especially since we have snow and she <laughs> goes through a lot of clothes. And so do we, cause she spits up all over us. This actually is not a dryer. It's just like a, it like spins it down to get all the water out. But then we also got this really cool dryer. It looks like this and you plug it in and it actually helps dry your clothes a little bit faster. I figured because of the weather and also just cause we don't have like a ton of time to be like line drying things. It might be raining or cold. Uh, we decided to get the dryer just to be on the safe side. So now we have a washer, a dryer, and then this looks like a total mess because it is, but this is all the stuff that I laid out just to show you guys. So I found these pillows, which I think are so cute for only like ten dollars each at walmart they're like the better homes um indoor outdoor pillows so i'm hoping that this will go with our color scheme uh but if not we'll save the receipt so we can return it and then these are tic tac tiles this is what i've been seeing everybody use in their motorhome for backsplash and it actually looks really good it has terrible reviews online like really bad i think it's like two stars so i'm hoping they hold up but stay posted and we'll keep you posted on that we bought some of this for the lining for the drawers in the motorhome um travis wanted to get this hose i wanted to get this because um i like to be able to clean the windshield when we're driving because our bugs get all over it i don't know i just don't like bugs all over the windshield so i got this when we stop at gas stations i can clean our windshield um we also got these magnetic holdbacks for the curtains because i'm gonna be putting new curtains in there and then this these are the curtain rods that we ended up getting we got like the cheapest ones because they're for one really lightweight and it's important to have light stuff in a motorhome but um also just because i don't even think you're gonna really see them when i put them up so we got those we had to stock up on some like just bathroom toiletry stuff travis got another hose because he couldn't decide which one he wanted so uh and then i don't know what these things are i don't know they look really boring but i'm sure they're for something important in the motorhome travis ordered that That's for the pool. oh it's for the pool never mind just kidding uh i ended up getting this for snow bear because i thought it would be something really fun and colorful for her to look at when we're on our rv trip and then we got the bob and we wanted to get this 
handlebar console with the tire pump. So we ended up getting that because I thought it would be good for the RV trip. That way we can take her. These, this stroller has like suspension and big tires. So if we're going over like, you know, things that are bumpy, snow won't feel it. And then Travis, <laughs> this is my husband. Travis freaking ordered like all of these things for the Keurig on our trip. And then he ordered like literally a whole, this is all tea. So tea and coffee, Travis ordered since we're gonna be gone for a while. And then this is just something kind of boring, the sewer support hose thing for the RV. So we kind of just wanted to uh, share with you guys some of the stuff that we got. And then also um, just show you guys our little shopping trip. Bless you, babes. Bless you, honey girl. She's playing with Miss Peacock. She's got all her toys in there. She's hanging out. And we are going to sign off, but we want to say that we love you. We're sending you all of our love and all of our positive energy. And we hope to see you in tomorrow's oh, video. We hope to see you. You have to redo it. Okay, go ahead. No, no. And we hope to see your part again. <laughs> and we hope to see you, you. in tomorrow's, in tomorrow's video. video. <laughs> oh my gosh. And uh, yeah, tomorrow's video, we're going to actually be showing you guys where we're at in the renovation on the RV. So definitely stay tuned for that. But yeah, we're hoping having. But on me. As amigos, espanol, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. What were you saying? I'm so lost. All right, you guys. We are love you. We're sending you all of our love and all of our positive energy. We hope to see you in tomorrow's video. <laughs> Snow bear. Say goodbye. Oh, honey. Oh, no. That face. Honey, want mommy to hold you? Sweet girl. Oh, no. I love you.